Okay, so I'm Rani Williams. <laughs> um, thought it would probably good to introduce myself right now. Um, that was a song of mine called Little Tree. Um, that is released, um, but the songs I'm now going to play to you are unreleased. So this is the only time you can hear them probably till next year, or unless you come to a gig before then. Um, and these songs are from my debut album, which I've just spent like the past year recording. Um, so I'm kind of doing a string of shows right now just to kind of finally play them a little bit and just get back into the swing of it. So um, as well as playing, I'm kind of going to story tell what the tracks are about. I think that's quite a nice thing to do since I guess I'm promoting the day we and myself. Um, and the album is called You Are Here, um, and I mean, obviously I've got a scatterbrain right now because there's a million things I'm thinking about, <laughs> but a good way 
for me to sum up the concept of the album is by saying a quote. Um, that is, if I am living bravely, then my entire life will become a million deaths and rebirths. By unknown. <laughs> I can't quite remember who the quote is by, but I'm sure I'll figure it out one day. So this track is called Berlin, and I wrote it uh, in 2020 in Berlin, whilst I was there for a couple of months.
Right, so like I said, I'm gonna kind of story, uh, story tell my way through this as well, but obviously the songs hopefully also tell a story through the lyrics. Um, so that track is called Berlin. Um, that's kind of about casual dating, really. <laughs> um, I'm just kind of, I don't know, finally thinking, I don't know, getting a bit of, getting to a point of like being like, you know what, I need a new, I need someone in my life, I guess. <laughs> um, and this song is called America. <laughs> um, these are only two tracks that are actually called Named After Places. Um, I promise not the other eight tracks are titled anything. But um, yeah, this is uh, an old track that I wrote gosh, when I was in uni. Um, and a lot of my songs are obviously about people uh, and how people, you know, it's like chapters in your life, isn't it? You know, people come in, people come out. And I guess that feeds into the concept of, you know, if within this one life, there's so many different lives that you lead and there's so many different realities. Yeah. It seems fine, most of the time When we smile into each other's eyes I can tell what you're thinking And I know what you're drinking too Shall we share this bottle of wine? We might be going through a rough patch But it's probably just a bad batch Of words and awfully time Distant, 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 distant Acts of love Acts of love Acts of love Acts of love Isn't it silly how we get dizzy when we become so involved losing touch of everything else and only expressing affection towards one don't mistake this as complaining because you're the best thing that's happened to me so let's sit down properly 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 and storyboard where we want to be where we want to be Take me with you, but it's your adventure and you've got to do you. I'm sure I'll be here all the same. Waiting and waiting, writing and writing, singing and singing about you. Waiting, waiting, writing and writing, singing and singing. 
so I'm a solo artist under the name Brian Williams, and these are pretty much how I wrote these songs originally, and then I take them to my producer in uh, Wolverhampton, and uh, we make them into fully fledged songs. So you know, they've got drums, bass, guitar, layered with plenty of guitar. So um, either you see me playing solo, and it's very skeletal and stripped back and quite vulnerable. Um, or you come see me at a big show with my band and it's more like indie rock and no care in the world kind of thing. Um, so there's definitely two sides. These songs are very dimensional, I guess. So um, I just mean if you do go and listen to me online and stuff like that, it's definitely not like this. <laughs> so this is very uh, quite exclusive, I guess. Just a heads up if you buy vinyl. So this is called checking in, semicolon checking out. Uh, and I wrote this, I don't know, Christmas time, I guess, when it's the horrible dark months that just go on and on and on and I moved somewhere new with my partner, which was amazing, but at the same time I was looking for work and it took me months to find what was right for me. And I guess this is about the mean inner voice that you have in your head, that inner dialogue. And having too much time that you listen to it too much that it becomes, you think it becomes like real. And kind of recognizing that in, getting past that, but I mean, I guess not fully, because <laughs> there'll probably be more songs about it. <laughs> um. I get overwhelmed, I'm convinced I 
school paramore is what I'd like to say it's like. But might be a stretch. Um, I'm going to try something a bit new here. So uh, bear with if this doesn't go completely right. Yours to keep, I'm yours to 
sweat on. <laughs> Is anyone crying yet? Because <laughs> if not good, because it's time for me to kind of bring you up a little bit more. Because um, I'm going to switch on to my acoustic uh, and hopefully play a bit more of a happy track. My mum has always been a, every time I've brought back <laughs> uh, a track from the studio that obviously I'm dead impressed. I'm like, oh my God, it's like the best song I've written so far. Like, whoa. And I play it and my parents' reaction is so opposite. It's great. Uh, my mum is like, when are you going to write a happy song? Whereas my dad is like, the sad songs are the best songs. <laughs> okay, so this track is called The Party. Um, and on the album, this is like the country song. So in terms of genre, definitely quite genre fluid. <laughs> um, but if you're into your indie rock and whatnot, like this is the kind of stuff you'll like. Uh, but this will get you jigging around the, the kitchen, really. If you play it on record. Maybe jigging around here, who knows. Um, so yeah, this is called The Party. And yeah, when I recorded it with my producer, Came out of the studio and about a week later, when he got round to mixing it and he sent me back, he was like, oh my God, I've just realized the party is a metaphor for life. I was like, oh, it is deep, huh. Uh, I'm gonna say that at future shows now, I'm gonna steal that. Um, so, yeah, it's probably easier to listen, listen to the lyrics and kind of narrate it for yourself and get your own understanding from it and take away from that. Um, but I guess it's just about the, for me it's about the day-to-day, it's repetition, um, but also finding beauty in like the simple things, I guess, in the everyday life. It was only yesterday at the party. Tomorrow will come, and I'm still undecided. And I can't even believe that you said those things to me. At the time, they cut so deep, but I'm not a Oh 
got it. And it's the last one. <laughs> for the special moment. Okay. All right. That whole display there just sums me up, right? <laughs> I like how my girlfriend's like, yeah. Um, thank you, by the way, for singing through these, these songs. <laughs> um, so I've been Brownie Williams, and this is my last track, and this is um, a tra the album track from the, the album that I keep on going on about to promote it, um, which is called You Are Here. And it's the last track that I recorded, um, and it's a live recording on the album. And I just knew I wanted something right off the bat, something that I could write there and then as to what I was feeling. And it kind of sums up an experience I had last year where uh, I walked the Camino uh, del Norte, which is a pilgrimage. Um, it's 800 kilometers across <laughs> the coast of Spain. Uh, and I did that for like a month of just constant walking every day. And it was quite, a bizarre thing to do, um, but I loved, despite the pain, I loved it and I still reminisce about it and all my friends probably are like, shut up, <laughs> you made it your personality already, but um, it's just something that will never leave me um, and it just got me, it just took me back to like, say it took me back, but it just made me realise when you're in that constant pattern, you're just essentially feeding your basic needs. Um, and you only have one objective, which is to walk a set amount of distance and hope that there's a bed for you at the end of the day and to try and find some food. So, uh, yeah, um, there wasn't a lot of talking on that and there wasn't a lot of thinking either. It's quite a meditative thing to do. Um, but me and my friend Charlotte, who I did the Camino with, uh, we talked a lot about the concept of home. Um, what is home? I don't know if I really have an answer, but um, I guess this song sums that up for me. Uh, and I guess home is just wherever you are at the, the time of right now, you know, in the present. And home isn't just one place or a person, but it can be a multitude of things. So, this is You Are Here, and thank you so much for listening to my music. Uh, and me bumbling around and chatting um, and if you you know liked what you heard check me out online or buy something from the merch or sign up to my mailing list or come say hi uh, and thank you Shrewsbury Coffee House for having me by the way and Hal and the Hum I'm sure Hal and the Hum will provide a nice nice bag <laughs> so this is you are here and I'll stop talking
here on this earth, walking side by side through the deep countryside, contemplating hope, but you